Communication is so important in education. It's important for us to communicate with our parents, with our principals, with our surrounding community to let them know what's going on. And we used to send out newsletters and send out hard copies of things. And while that's still a good tool, a, a whole new world has opened up with the internet and with the class website. And I think many educators have a, a misconception that maybe class websites are too difficult or not enough people go and see them. So today I'd like to share with you some of my tips about how I use the class website as a vibrant hub for my students and my parents and to really share information, to communicate videos and pictures and documents and to really let them into our world and show them what's going on in our classroom. So now you can actually see my class website. Some of the things that I have on the right, I'm going to point those out first. I've got resources for parents here, so um, some things that I have on here are like our spelling list and games. These are from Spelling City. I found these off the internet. Somebody else had already typed those up. and I've just got that link so the kids can go and play activities with our weekly spelling games. Our math and reading textbooks online. Here the parents have an easy way to email me. And I love this feature. If you're worried that people won't see your website, they can actually subscribe to get updates by email. Now you'll see as we go down on the left, um, just some of our weekly activities. So we were working with fractions this week. I've got pictures and videos that I like to put on there. You'll also notice for student privacy, I do not have names of the students on here. So please be sure that you're not putting first and last names up. That is a privacy issue for students, so be careful of that. Also, you need to have a permission slip filled out at the beginning of the year so that you can post pictures online. Most of the slips that come from your district will cover those, but you may want to just double check and make sure that everything is, is squared away for that. I also include videos here, and we've been working on fractions 18, and multiplication, as you can see here. So the students can go home and they can practice their multiples of six, they can watch this for review, they can do the dance moves and sing along, so it's a really great study guide um, as well for the students. And I've got a lot of other resources, excuse me, I'm going to scroll back up really fast and show you some of these. Um, I include a whole section of games for the kids. And feel free to use my games on your website as well, um, these are just things that I've gotten off the internet. So we've got reading games, science and social studies, and then math, I've got it broken down by categories. Brain Pop is a great thing that you can stick on your website. They have That changes daily. I've got this section right here, which I think is really important. The things to do with your child. This is where you can really have those building background experiences. Um, and your students can go out and do things that are in the community. I try to include things that are free or things that are geared specifically for the kids. So some things on here that you'll see. We've got a special night at the Dyer Observatory at Vanderbilt that is geared towards kids. Um, we've got some really neat things around here. Pick your own strawberries. Down here you can see the Frist Art Museum and that's free for kids. So all of those are really great for the parents to have um, as a good resource to go and to check out your class website. So now I would like to show you another aspect of the class website. Clearly communicating expectations to parents. We have big projects that we do all throughout the year and one of them is our Holidays Around the World project. All of third grade participates and as you can see here my class goes with Sweden. So um, I have some different examples. First of all, I've got all of this um, up here where the parents can see exactly what's expected of them. And all of this goes out in paper format as well. So they're going to get a hard copy of this. But this is what's really important. They can have clear pictures in color, which I can't always send these home. I don't have the ink and the resources to send home color copies. But now they can go on the class website and see exactly what is expected of their child, what the projects are supposed to look like, and in addition to that, you can give them research um, resources. So here, I've got several things that can help the kids get started. So they can go on here, they can click, this is their one stop for everything. They've also got their rubric on here, so they'll know exactly how they're going to be graded. Students create better work if they know that they're going to have an authentic audience. Your class website is a great place to give them that audience. So we create Reader's Theater. Can you wrap yourself around it so we can settle our argument? So our students can now hear fluency modeled. They can see if they're doing a good job. Um, they can hear that and work on improving it. So that's very, very important. Um, they can also share this with grandma. Another thing, you can embed resources. Um, YouTube is an amazing just playground of resources for educators. This a story, a story. is an audiobook, a story, a story, which is what we were doing with Reader's Theater. 
So now the students can go home and they can watch the story. They can see this again and have extra practice. And they beg for this. They love it. To recap, you're going to need to include resources for your parents. Again, these are like spelling lists or online access to those books. You can subscribe parents so they can instantly get updates by email. You can include pictures and videos on your website, but please be sure to respect privacy and watch out for those last names. Including um, a game section can be a great incentive to your website. And also things to do with your child list of local activities around your area. Also, you can include rubrics and examples online. Another purpose is to create an authentic audience by displaying the work online. And of course, you can embed YouTube videos.